If you have more than 100 records in your Notion database, then you might have noticed that only your first 100 records have been transferred to your Power Query editor. Notion API, as many others, uses pagination to help keep the server load low. Now, for you, that means that you need to manually get the rest of the pages yourself. In Notion, to get the next 100 records, you need to tell it what's the first ID of the next record on the next page. This is called a start cursor. Luckily, you get this ID with every request you make. So all you need to do is pass this ID to the next request. Let's see how you do that in Power Query. First, open the query you've made in the last tutorial, as we'll just improve it in this one. Your query currently returns a list of Notion records from the first page. To get the next page, we'll need to extract the next cursor from the bare result. If you take a look at the, at the right side, you'll see lots of Power Query steps you've made. Keep clicking the previous step going up until you see the next cursor. When you see it, take a note of that name of the step as you'll need shortly. Then open the advanced editor and find that step here. Now make a new variable called next cursor and use the record access syntax to extract it. Type the name of the variable and enter next cursor in the square brackets. Brilliant. Now let's return this next cursor in our result. Still, in the advanced editor, go to the bottom of the query and find the in keyword. Instead of the final step, we'll now return a new record which contains the data and the next cursor. Here's how. Now go back to the Power Query editor and test this. You should see the data field and the next cursor field. Our code now returns everything we need. Now we just need to make our code ready to be run over and over again for all the pages we want. To do that, we'll convert the code into a function. That's actually very easy. Just go back to the advanced editor and add the function syntax to the top. We'll add a parameter to our function, which will allow us to pass the next cursor we receive and use it to query the next page. Let's name our function getNotionPage. If we check the Notion docs again, we can see we need to pass the cursor as the request body parameter. At the moment, we're just passing an empty body and that was fine until now. Let's upgrade that part to pass the next cursor if we have it. Now, if you don't have it, we still need to pass an empty object, otherwise Notion API will just complain. Perfect, we're almost there. We can now test our function to see how it works. If I just pass an empty string, I'll get the first page, which is exactly what I want. I'll get the next cursor within the response, which I manually pass as a parameter to this function, just to see how it works. I'll keep doing that until I reach page 9, which is the last one in my database. Perfect. Let's automate this now. We'll use the list.generate function. So let's create a new blank query and type list.generate. For the first parameter, we'll use a function which returns the first page of records. For the second parameter, I'll create an each function which will check the data table if the data table contains any records. This leads me to the last parameter where I'll use the next cursor from the last request to get the next page. This already looks promising, but we still have one little glitch to resolve. If, we go, if you go and save this query now, you'll get an error with Power Query complaining that it cannot convert null to text. What the hell does that mean? And that's because of the last page. When list.generate goes through the list of records, it currently doesn't stop because all the pages we, we retrieve have records. It tries to pass the null cursor to our function because that's what we receive as the last function. We can solve this issue in two places, but let's solve it here. Let's expand the third function to check if the next cursor is no. In that case, let's just return a dummy record with a table that contains zero rows. This will make the list generate stop and will make Power Query happy. Let's test this out now. Brilliant. Looks like we have all the records now. And that's how to do it. I'm planning to make more of these videos in the upcoming weeks, so make sure to stay tuned. I really appreciate any tips in forms of comments, likes and subscribers. So thank you very much for watching this one and see you in the next video. Bye.